Welcome to Let Em On Watch. bed here which are amazing sheets by the way we slept like a baby last night we've got our fridge which came with a liter and a half of water right there it just wins me over I'll take that over here our coffee station which is another thing I need that coffee first thing in the morning I can't wait for the breakfast to open up gotta have it real milk right not the powdered stuff and real spoons I like it I like it a lot bathroom right super nice and look you know because we're considerate oh and something else something else I look for when I come to a hotel or any place is the size of their towels how many times have you gone to a hotel room and it's like the size of your arm you need like seven of them to dry off your body I love a full body towel. Love it. Check out this view. We just checked out and we had an awesome breakfast this morning. There was your dry cereal, your muesli, um, full coffee, tea station. There was yogurt, two different types of yogurt, um, and not your prepackaged yogurt, like nice yogurt with um, an assortment of fruit. Uh, there was apple juice, orange juice, and then your hot bar, of course, with your toast, your scrambled eggs, some sauteed mushrooms. That's a big thing here. Also, your beans and tomato sauce yeah and beans some, and some ground beef or mince meat is what they call it here yeah. um but it was delicious am i missing anything nice bacon oh nice that's bacon, right bacon some nice eggs here's normal stuff and yeah then the hosts are really friendly yeah and uh, i'll definitely recommend this place oh yeah and they came and checked on us so while we we're eating it wasn't like you just, you put your dirty plates away. They came by, they picked up our dirty plates. You saw the views were amazing. So we were definitely, we're, we're much happier with the price now that we've stayed here. We're, again, we're a little hesitant, but. It was, it was like $80 for the night, which is pretty expensive in our view. Yeah. Especially for South Africa. But I think in comparison, if you, do it in other places i think that like was really cheap for what you got <laughs> so we are gonna check out a cable car ride yeah, we're on the way to the aerial cable way so this lodge is at the top of this ridiculous hill and uh it's it's kind of intimidating not gonna lie this hill is pretty massive so check out this angle right here So we just drove down this kind of sketchy dirt road, not even 10 minutes from the uh, cable way to check out this place called Prettville. It's supposed to be some like 50s, 60s, I don't know, type deal. And uh, we're not really sure what to expect. So we're gonna come up here and check it out. Hello. Hi. How are you? Good, how are you? Hi. Hi. 
Oh. Just have to sanitize. Okay, thank you. So, with this, what we were asking is like, what can we expect? We haven't been here or anything like that. Yeah, what's in here? What is this about? What's this oh, about? Um, this is Predful. It is, um, they uh, shot a movie here about 10 years ago. And this is just um, where they, where they shot, shot the it. film, yes. Oh, okay. And there's also a diner and a cinema. Uh, yeah, uh, the name is Predful and it shows at 3 o'clock. Oh, okay. a so, the, oh, movie, so the movie, movie is show. called Prep yeah. also, also Where along with the place. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Well, we kind of think we... We paid it and we got a useless CD with it because no cars have CD players anymore. So <laughs> That's so true. <laughs> we got an extra CD now. <laughs> so if anyone still uh, use these puppies, <laughs> let us know. <laughs> oh, that poor girl. I think we put her on the spot back there. just got done at Pretville and uh, yeah it's cool if you have kids I think they enjoy it more than you would yeah it's a place for kids they have a skating rink which is kind of cool and I think you can do parties which they had one going on so I didn't film it because it'd probably be pretty creepy if I did but yeah bring the kids not adults yeah unless you're really into the movie like if the movie is like your thing and you can recite the movie, I think it'd be cool, but yeah. Come to the RTBS port cableway today. It was a little bit more than we wanted to pay, but we heard the views are definitely worth it. It was first built in 1973, but went under new ownership in 2010. It's 1.5 kilometers long. We'll see you guys at the top. longest urban street in South Africa. Mm. It is also one of the longest straight streets in the world. Did you know that? Yeah. Pretoria's main street. Hmm. This is 
really nice up here. It's not just a walkway with views, which don't get me wrong, that's really nice too. But there's a restaurant up here. There's a spa, you can get massages. We actually looked at doing that. So you can come here and spend a day up here and then really kind of spread that 240 rand out a little bit. This is nice, definitely worth it. Well, we got here at the right time because it is jam-packed right now. It's Saturday, it's a little afternoon. Yeah, we did good. But they moved us pretty fast through there when we got there, so good stuff. All right, husband, was it worth it? Uh, in my opinion, I think it was worth it. Yeah. Um, just because you get a really get a 360 view of everything around you and it's pretty cool, so I would definitely recommend it if you into having nice views and they have like a pizza place up there nice little bar mm -hmm. for the adults so i think if you want to bring your kids and something like that or even for yeah they first have the bounce date. house up there yeah first date that would be nice and you know what it's said on there like no food and drink beyond this point but i had a backpack and we shoved that large bottle of water in my backpack so i'm sure we could have packed like some snacks and stuff and yep. and you know some drinks and went up there and it would have been fine yeah 